What's going on my friends? I am Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U. Uh, today we're gonna talk about working out in the heat. So I work in Texas and it's 110 degrees outside like every day, sometimes more than that. <sighs> It's, it's hot all the time, so it's brutal working outside. So I figured I would give some tips to any of you guys that are new to the trade, that are working outside and you're in Texas or Florida or Arizona or just in the heat in general. All right, so uh, there's quite a few different recommendations. I'm gonna cover things like clothing and um, just working in the shade, drinking water, things like that. So let's break into it. First thing is the clothing. So what should you be wearing if you're working in Texas? Should you be wearing long sleeves and you know pants? Can you wear shorts? All of that kind of stuff. So to address the issue first off, whether or not you can be wearing shorts and t-shirts on a job site in general, OSHA leaves that up to the employer. So some employers will allow people to wear um, just regular shoes and shorts and a t-shirt and you can wire homes if you're inside of a, a, a you know, a, a new house being constructed. A lot of people will do that if you're working outside though. So I have a few recommendations. So. I personally, it doesn't matter every day, everywhere, hot, cold, I wear pants because I don't want to be like cutting up my legs with wire, climbing through attics, messing up my, you know, my, my skin. I've actually cut myself tons and tons of times on stupid stuff. If you're working in a commercial environment, you're drilling over your head and you've got all this hot metal coming down on you. Um, that's all stuff to think about. So I find just wearing long sleeves, wearing pants and wearing boots every day is just what I do. You may choose to do otherwise, it's really gonna be up to what your boss says. But what it does do is out in the heat, out in the sun, if you wear long sleeves, you don't get burned. So there's different fabrics that you can get. You can get really lightweight shirts that are not gonna make, it's not gonna be like wrapping a towel around yourself. There's also fabrics where you could get a towel around yourself. So definitely I'm not saying wear like a wool sweater. Uh, I'm just saying that I like to wear something that's um, a really lightweight, breathable fabric. It covers everything. So I'm just not getting burned throughout the day. Um, which brings me to my next point, wearing a hat. Pretty much universally, everybody outside is wearing hats. Most of the time in Texas, if you see people on job sites, they're wearing like a brimmed hat. So some kind of like sombrero <laughs> or like a, uh, a cowboy hat. That's, I, that's what I wear. If I'm out in the sun and I'm digging trenches and I'm doing stuff outside underneath the sun all day, no cloud cover, better believe I'm gonna have a cowboy hat on. Um, depending on the environment, sometimes you'll have to have a hard hat. So a hard hat's another thing. If you've got a hard hat that has a brim around it, it's just gonna keep extra sun off of you. So that's kind of the whole point. Um, just keeping sun off of yourself. If you don't wear a hat and you're just out there like this, you can still burn your scalp. And if it's, I'm, if there's no cloud cover and it's just hot, 100 degrees every single day, you're gonna burn the crap out of yourself. So skin cancer is an issue to be aware of, as well as like, you know, hair loss over time. You kill the follicles. The more that you burn yourself and like damage your skin, you know, you're gonna have some little friendly spots like this guy has. <laughs> so I recommend that you wear uh, some kind of hat and, um, you know, wear long sleeves if you're outside. It's kind of counterintuitive. I remember when I was a helper and I would see a bunch of dudes like doing roofing. They're all wearing long sleeves. They're all wearing long pants. They've got like towels draped over themselves and then they've got like a floppy hat over the top of it and just keeps the sun off of them. So yeah, you've got more cover on you and more things that you're wearing, but the sun's not actually getting to you. So while you're still going to be hot, you're not going to be getting burned as well. Another thing with clothing that you may not think about is your feet. You sweat like crazy out in the sun, especially if you're wearing boots. So when I wear boots, I always wear wool socks. I don't wear cotton socks. I did wear cotton for the longest time, but then you're just, your feet are sitting in a puddle all day long. Wool socks actually kind of wick the moisture off of your feet. Um, it's just not the same kind of fabric and how the fibers work and everything like that. It's not just gonna sit in like this cesspool of water all day long. So wool socks, and when it's cold too, wool socks are great because they're thicker, you know, like they add more uh, padding as well. So you just feel like you're kind of walking on cushion um, and like the stress on your feet is not as great. 
Another thing I recommend is wearing glasses. So you don't have to wear glasses, but just in general, wearing some kind of sun glasses, polarized, non, doesn't really matter. I get the cheap $5 ones from Home Depot and I just keep like a whole crap load of them because they make them safety rated as well. So you can use them to be like drilling and doing stuff outside and it's keeping the sun out of your eyes. Um, I wouldn't only wear sunglasses and not wear a hat because then you're gonna have the raccoon eyes and everything else on you is going to be burnt. Next up is to wear sunscreen. So uh, if you're not going to be wearing all this long stuff, I do recommend wearing sunscreen. You can keep the spray stuff, you can keep the, the rub on stuff, but just keep like a thing of it in your car. And if you're working outside, just put that on everywhere. It'll help you a lot. Another thing that we Texans do when we're on job sites is we keep gallons of water or like the huge jugs that you can get at a gas station where it might be like a gallon and a half. But I recommend drinking at least a gallon of water preferably two gallons. This is if you're working outside and you're sweating like crazy, drink water constantly. Just keep water around you. I know you're gonna wanna pound like 15 energy drinks throughout the day and you got all the coffee and then you're gonna eat like crap most people do in the trades. Even more of a reason why drinking water is a really good idea to keep yourself hydrated. And because you're gonna be sweating a lot, you're gonna be losing a lot of the salt. Um, so you wanna make sure that you have some kind of electrolytes that you're drinking. So either Gatorade or something like that that's gonna replenish electrolytes. I like to get these little packets um, that they're like a, a mixture of a whole bunch of different uh, you know, electrolytes and then I can just put that inside of the water and then drink that throughout the day. Um, so I'm actually replenishing all of the electrolytes electrolytes in my body while hydrating myself and drinking water, but drink water, drink, drink, drink tons of water. Just keep a thing on you every day, bring it with you on every job, everywhere you go, just keep that thing around you. It's gonna be a lifesaver. Now, since you're going to be drinking water, another awesome thing to have is a cooler. So Klein has these really awesome coolers. Yes, I'm hitting you with a sponsor segment. Klein is the sponsor of this episode. Thank you, Klein. Uh, Klein has sent me a whole bunch of their cooling things that wanted me to talk about them. So Klein has a couple of coolers. The really huge one uh, has a little bottle opener on it. It fits a ton of stuff in it. So you can fit like an entire thing of water and Gatorades and some Dos Equis, you know, for maybe like after the job, definitely after the job, not during the job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's a really, really awesome cooler. And then they've got a smaller version too that you can actually pack your lunch in. But out in the Texas heat, a lot of us will just take a huge cooler full of waters and uh, Gatorades and stuff like that. And we'll each throw one in the back of our truck. So just throughout the day, we've got tons of water. They also have some cooling towels. So there's different versions of cooling uh, things that you can wear around your head. So they've got some things that drape over your neck. Uh, they've got some do-rags that are like cooling do-rags. They've got some uh, bands that go around your head that um, you can wet and actually keeps your head cool. There's things that you can wear like a skull cap. So underneath your hard hat, you can keep uh, a cooling band around your head. And they even have a hard hat. This is the coolest damn thing I've ever seen in my life. They have a, a hard hat now that has a fan attachment. So you can get a fan that instead of like having the light, you know, on all of the new you know, Klein hard hats, I love all their hard hats, but instead of having that light on there, you can use that same uh, power source to power this fan. So when you're outside, you can constantly either low or high, have a little bit of cool air blowing on you at all times. I'm so happy that I have one. Thank you, Klein so much for sending this. This is my favorite thing of all of my things. Uh, I love this hard hat. They even have hard hats that are not the, the fan type, but they do have ventilated sides. So at least if it's just like a regular hard hat, they do have options that you can open up these little air vents and it just lets more air flow into your head, helps you cool down a little bit. Now, another thing that we out in Texas do a lot when we're working outside is we keep to the shade a lot. <laughs> so number one thing that I learned as an apprentice was always stack your, your materials in the shade. A, it gives you an excuse to go into the shade. Often you're always going over into the shade, take a couple minutes, chill out, get your materials, go back. B, if you put a whole bunch of metal conduit out in the sun, 
every time you go grab it, you're gonna burn yourself. That stuff gets so brutally hot under the Texas sun. Um, and if you leave your materials out in the sun all day long, I guarantee, like you're not gonna be able to work with this stuff that's gonna be so hot. Even if you have gloves on, um, it's really, really hot. And you're gonna be holding things up and you're still gonna hit your arm with it because it's really, you know. But also just go sit in the shade from time to time. Like, it, we kind of have this like bust ass, work hard, don't ever stop kind of attitude. And that's necessary in the construction trades, but it is also necessary to chill out from time to time and get back into the shade. I'll even go a step above that. After a while, we're getting hot. Everybody's worked really hard. It's like, all right, guys, go turn all your trucks on, get your AC blowing. Let's take five minutes. Just go sit in the truck in the AC for a while and cool down. Because heat stroke, and heat exhaustion are real things. I've had people on job sites completely pass out. Um, just dehydration, not drinking enough water, not used to the sun because they came from Minnesota and they just, they didn't know what to expect. They didn't know how hot it is working out here in Texas every single day. So I've actually had uh, people like hospitalized because they weren't being responsible. They weren't taking time in the shade, they weren't drinking enough water, and they just weren't being smart about working in that heat. Next is still working in Texas, but not working directly under uh, the sun. Maybe you're working inside of a building that doesn't have power. It can be a box of hell <laughs> working in a house that's got all the windows up and it's got all of the exterior on it, but it's still just in rough in phase, right? So it's still just wood stud walls, open walls everywhere because the windows are, are on, you're not getting in the, any airflow through the place. So it can actually just kind of like bake like an oven inside of a house. So one thing that we do is we keep floor fans. So I'll keep one of these fans that I can carry around and a bunch of people, you know, like everybody brings their fan in. And so you're kind of circulating air throughout this whole place. Silly idea to not do this, but a lot of people don't think about it. Go crack the windows open. Go open the doors, prop them open. If you can get doors on opposite sides or windows on opposite sides of a room, it's gonna draw air through that room naturally. So just keep some doors or some windows open so at least you have airflow and have a fan. And that fan, you can literally just drag the fan move it sit and, uh, and you know wire an area while it's blowing on you so all day long you pretty much have ac blowing on you maybe not ac but you just have some kind of air blowing on you and as you sweat that wet sweat on you it feels so good when you stand in front of a fan it's like a radiator it instantly cools you so keep a fan nearby especially when you're inside and last but not least, uh, sweating is definitely an issue with all of this heat. There are some people that sweat profusely, like, like they almost sweat violently. <laughs> and they are just drenched from head to toe the second they get out of their vehicle on a job site. And it can be seven o'clock in the morning, but here it's also really humid. So we have the heat to deal with, but we're also near the ocean. Austin's still, you know, we're like three and a half hours away from the ocean, still not that close to the ocean, but relative to the rest of the US, that moisture comes up through Houston, comes up into Austin, and it's humid as hell around here. So people sweat, and I know people that sweat so bad that it actually gets in the way of them being able to work, and it's so disruptive, and it's so like, debilitating to be just dripping with sweat all day long, bringing extra shirts, extra socks, just an extra set of clothes every day is not a bad idea if you're one of those people that sweats profusely um, because it can be such a refreshing thing to like work all the way to lunch and then go during lunch, eat your lunch, put a fresh set of clothing on and then you're you know in the AC for a while you calm back down and you're you're cool again and then you start the second half of your day with like fresh clothing so like, you know by the end of it you're still sweaty and all of that stuff but if you're smart and you can hang your clothes to dry somewhere or let them sit out in the heat for a while by the time you're done at the end of the day now your old clothes that probably smell like trash but they're at least dry so now when you're soaked from the latter half of your day you can put the other clothes back on um, just a really good idea to do that in general but I I always like to keep in my truck a few extra shirts anyways just you know stuff happens you rip a shirt and then you're at some lady's house and then you got this guy with his hairy belly hanging out because he ripped his shirt it's like go outside in your truck just get another shirt i keep extra boots and extra shoes and and uh, extra shirts extra hats all of that stuff on me so those are your tips for working out in the texas sun or well anywhere 
anywhere like south of the Colorado line that goes across the United States. Pretty much all of the southern states have to deal with this. Arizona, maybe Arizona's not as humid, um, but it's definitely hotter. Uh, so you don't feel that like gross sweat thing as much because of the humidity, but it's sweltering because it'll get up to like 120 in Arizona out in the middle of the desert. So, um, you know, Florida, same kind of thing. You're like really, really humid all of the time in Florida. So, you know, just be smart. If you're coming from a northern state to come down here and work in these southern states, heat is an issue just as much for y'all as snow and cold is an issue. But with snow and cold, they can shut down job sites. With heat, we don't shut down job sites. We just get off our asses and go to work. So, love you people. Thank you so much for watching. Leave some comments if you have any other suggestions, any products, any things that you guys use or do. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Best can to use it and video.